Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to the PeacefulBend.com blog and uh, I'm answering weekly wine questions here this week, uh, another uh, disembodied voice week. I'm actually going to demonstrate how to use uh, this cork puller. It's called a twist up cork puller. Um, there's a few other names for this out there. Gourmet cork puller you see every once in a while. Um, but basically it just has these two prongs. One's a little bit longer than the other one. So last week we looked at a waiter's corkscrew. This week we'll look at this twist up. Uh, the twist up corkscrews in my experience work a lot easier on natural cork than they do on synthetic corks. Um, so I'll, I'll demonstrate that here in a second. And, uh, but you can use them on both. So first I'm going to start with a bottle that has a natural cork in it. And basically what you're going to do is start with the longer end and insert that in between your cork and uh, the side of your glass. Okay, so you just start out and just kind of wiggle it down real slowly down on the side there. And once you get to this point where this, uh, this extra prong is just slightly overlapping the lip, it's going to go on the opposite side. Okay, so when you actually insert it there, it's going to look like this. Hopefully you can see that okay. And then basically what you want to do is push this down using a rocking motion. So just go real slow and just kind of rock it back and forth. If you've applied enough pressure that you start to push the cork in, that's not uh, a bad thing. Just very slowly turn and pull. You're going to pull that cork back up a little bit, and then you can keep on going. Just kind of very slightly wiggling it down, rocking it back and forth. Okay, once you're down uh, pretty close to the top of the, the bottleneck, you can just turn and pull. And the cork comes right out. Okay, and you just slide the cork out, and you're ready to go. Okay, so that's a natural cork. And then what I wanted to show you is the synthetic cork. It does work, you just have to have a little more patience and a little more strength. So again, I'm taking this foil off the top of the bottle here. And same thing, we start with the longer end, uh, and then we'll uh, insert that first, and then we'll get to the shorter end. Okay, here I have the longer end inserted and then putting that shorter end in. This one just takes a lot more patience, a little more strength. Sometimes it gets caught into the cork itself on these synthetic corks. Okay, I just did this just before, there we go. You can kind of, sometimes on the synthetic corks, you can kind of hear it releasing a little bit of air when you know you've kind of got it through, and that's how these cork pullers are working. If you're having real troubles, you can actually go ahead, even though I don't have this all the way down on the top of the bottle, you can go ahead and start twisting and pulling. Give you a little more room. And just, again, it's not a big rocking motion, it's just a little bit back and forth. There we go. Now I'm ready to go ahead and pull this the rest of the way out. I like the waiter style corkscrews so much more uh, for the synthetic corks. But here you can see I've actually, I actually went through, this is what was giving me some problems, I actually kind of went through some of that coating on that synthetic cork. But that's how you uh, take out your corks using a twist up cork puller. And thank you for joining me today on the Peaceful Bend blog. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the com uh, comment section or email me at winery at peacefulbend.com. Or if you see me in person, feel free to ask me your question then. Thanks so much. We'll see you next week. Bye.